See the cave. See the cave? Come on! Come on! Made it! No, get out of the water! Hi, Mr. Beaver. Curr. I don't usually get visitors in winter. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> you, you, you probably don't get out much in winter either. No, he doesn't. He stays cooped up in there. Show me the honey. Show me potato salad. <laughs> that was funny. Okay. Now the long swim back. Yeah, I don't know how he loses twice as much air down here. Video game logic. Yeah. I mean, the polluted water may, it makes sense, but... It'd be if it saps your health, then okay. We're not sapping our health, though, even though the oxygen may as well be our health. Okay, I see the hole. I see the hole. I, I, see, the, I see the gap in the ice. Whew! Made it! And I believe, yeah, well, we need to go back to happy fun time springtime. Happy fun time. I believe we've collected... And you could get that life under there if you really if you really want to challenge yourself. No, fuck that. Oh, yeah, and then after we complete this world, though, we'll go... We'll, uh... We won't show it on... Well, now we won't show it on film, but we're going to go talk to, like, every brain tilde there is. Mm. Get all the facts we can, because we're going to need them. Because the question... We're not going to turn this off before the po point where we need them. Oh, I forgot I need spring. I'm like, hey, we're just going to go forward. No, I need spring. Spring. Well, you know what? I'm going to show... I'm going to show both versions of the ending. So I'm not going to get that last jigsaw piece yet. We'll pop that in... We'll pop that in later, but I'll show both versions. So for now, yeah, we're going to, you know, cut all this. But we're going to go talk to Brentilda's. This will be fun. I just gotta remember where they all are. I mean, there's only so many. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bruce and Grantilda's favorite pastime is flying radio-controlled bats. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was her first and only boyfriend. Grunty's legs and stomach thins. Goodbye to all those double chins. But no, if you if you watch her though, she tells you the important like the important part will be when she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. But yeah, the the actual meat of it is is vibrating with the words. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we'll be done in this session. That's... T whoops. He's like, right. Love the animation. Bees. Not the bees. Not the memes. Not the memes. Hundreds of them. They're in my eyes. Jeez, imagine me and the people watching that. Just like, what's wrong with him? Everything. Okay, that door goes back there, so we don't want that. Honestly, I can take all the time I need since it's all gonna get cut anyways. Oh, 
I, I don't think there's any any around here. At least I don't think so. I don't think so. There's one. I have to be Banjo. Banjo. The disgusting Gruntilda has rat bagels for breakfast. Then she usually has maggot pie for dinner. Yuck. Wartbag then finishes with eyeball ice cream for dessert. How horrid. Going to Freezy's Peak. Easy Peak. Freezy's Peak. Because it's easy to freeze to death. Yeah. Shoes. I don't even know why I'm running. Just because you can. She was going to say something, but oh well. I need these boots. Like a beetle. Beetle, beetle. It's a flying beetle. Ah! Leave me alone! I know there's a Brentilda. There she is. Grunty's best friend at which school was the awful sweaty Betty. Yeah. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. E. I don't have a big butt. While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie, Elephant Sweat. Mm-hmm. Aren't you the one who told me you had a big butt? No. See? They're not going to hear this anyway. Unless you, unless you will it in, but it'll be boring as hell. No. Oh. Ooga. Ooga, ooga. Ooga booga. Oh. Heh heh heh. Oh. Ooga ooga booga. Ooga ooga. Okay, I don't think there was one in that area where you need the gator transformation. But I know there's one this side. No, those are the boots. Hi! My fat old sister's favorite sport is belly barging. Tootie says she's fine with me. If you go home, I'll set her free. Why am I even doing this right now? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Although she's dim, she attended St. Dungball School. St. <laughs> Dungball School. Mm hmm. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. That I remember her saying last time. Yeah, some of them probably, you know. Yeah. I mean, there's only so many answers for each of them. 
Did I talk to that one? I think so. Well, let's find out. My lazy sister often sleeps in a pigsty. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> she sleeps in a pigsty. Boy, how does that work out? The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies competition at which school. <laughs> yes! She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. Posing in the long johns on Fat Hag Monthly. Posing in the long johns is the important part. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is a she has long johns. Yeah, that's a weird name for a restaurant when you think about it. Yeah. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. Okay. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. I believe there was one down here. Yep. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath at Witch School. I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Yeah, in the other direction. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Maybe some of these are the same. Huh. We should have kept the other ones just to compare and contrast. I didn't want to chance it because that's how it was back in the old days. I don't care if they change the formula. <laughs> New formula, same great taste. No, with more caffeine. <laughs> now with 100% more pig semen. Whoa. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there she is. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. <laughs> Tuna ice cream toothpaste. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. She also washes her hair with engine oil. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear the. And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Clean, clean. Ow. 
There we go. Ow. I don't remember if I talked to her yet or not. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is... Oh, we did. We did. We did. Radio controlled baths. Okay. But I did just notice this cave here. Is this where that other cauldron was that I should have known that... Yep. It's like I knew there was one in here. So I think that should be all of them. At least I hope it is. <laughs> Hey! Hi there, bear buddy. I need six more acorns before winter comes. Have you seen any? No, but I'm sure I will. Hey, there's one. And two. Acorns. Wow, that is a shit spot. We're gonna be falling down a long way. Good thing I think it's... I think it's above water. I think. Oh no, we won't be falling down a long way! Ow! Because I believe... No, never mind, that hole isn't... Oh, it's above a platform, though, so if I get a good jump, I can stay up... I can stay afloat. Okay, we're good. There's three... Gotta be careful not to fall. Oh yeah, this is a great place to freaking put one. Put it, Jesus man. Slow and steady. There we go. Don't want to fall. I think we're above water. We're probably not. No, we are above thorns. That's even better. I'm just gonna take these for a minute. Don't worry, I will come back to you. I think. I'm pretty sure there's one in your house, if not a caterpillar. Jesus, they are generous with the caterpillars. Caterpillar. Yeah, there's an acorn right in your goddamn house. But I need you to bring it to me. Yeah. That's usually how it works. You need to go get it. You get it. You. You bad juju. Oh, now we gotta smash this window. Smash a window. Get an egg. I think we're good on eggs. We almost have 200 of them. Damn. Well, that is the capacity. We get there. We go. Got all six acorns. Ooh. Let's give our little squirrel friend some acorns. Here you go, friend. Acorns, acorns for the squirrel. Eat them. I'm gonna chuck them at your head. Aw, be nice. Yippee! That's all the acorns I need. Here. Take this. I'll see you in the spring. Tuh. And we managed to get the celebration while he was while he was dialoguing. So that actually worked out pretty well. That's another. That's probably another little trick to save. Uh, you know, save some time on a speed run. Because you have to listen to his dialogue, so you may as well make the most of it. Yeah. And we're gonna open up winter time. It's a winter wonderland. Yay. Yeah, I'm not I'm so to... happy. <laughs> It walking in a winter wonderland. We only need ten more notes, and I oh, wonder how many are in his tree. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Let's feed him ten caterpillars. God, we're feeding a lot of people in the fall. Yeah. Here you go. Eat your worms. Eat all of them. Just shove it in your mouth. Just take it. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more, man. One more. Pump it out. Two, four, six. No, there's only eight notes in the tree. We didn't even need the caterpillar up here either. Nope. Thank you, bear. Here he seemed to be big bird. Must have sleep first. Crash. Sleepy, 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 that's a big fu sleepy. That's a big fucking bird. Big bird. Your nest is getting too small, man. And it's amazing how quickly he's grown up just in one full year. Yeah. He's a big boy. So there's 16 in the winter, though. That means I need two more here. I hope they are up higher. I really do. Well, there's there's another caterpillar. Caterpillar. 
Damn it. Like we need them anymore. I uh, wonder what's in here today. If Watch, there won't be shit in here again. It's the exact same room we see in every season. Just, <laughs> it's less relevant every time we come here. Uh, that's 97 Mumbo Tokens. Hmm. Like I said, wouldn't be surprised. Well, hell, we're almost, we're almost to a hundred. And you only need about three quarters of that. Oh, wait, I think, I forgot about, oh god, going down. Uh. Made it down safe. <laughs> But no, before I go completely down and remember what I was gonna go get, I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get that one that's on the flowers since I'm here. That's where I was going, but then I fell. Surprised that I didn't break any bones. Oh, we can't go through the front. Nope. There we go. Made it. This is actually feels like it's going faster than I thought. Okay, so we need Jinjos. There's, I think there might be one in the winter that I'm thinking of, and ow, that hurt. Stop falling. Didn't even fall that far. I fell from the top of the world a minute ago, and yet somehow survived. There's got, there's got to be one in the winter then, and we still, we still need two notes. I, I hope they're in here. But we got to go talk to the beaver we helped in the summer. Either. Now that we can actually get into his goddamn house. Oh, you swim. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yep. So, something you do in one season, you may have to wait another to finish up. Oh, here you are at last. I've been waiting months to give you this. You know, because seasons go by in real time for them, I guess. Yeah. Well, for us, it's a And I see the two notes in his house. So there we go. We are set. Off to Winter Wonderland. Because I think there's one piece there plus a Jinjo piece. Yeah, there's. it's gotta be. That's the only place I can think of. Plus 16 notes, and I know there's a honeycomb piece in Winter. Can. Oh, there's another Mumbo token. I've. And I lost track of how many we're at. Well, if we have 22, we're missing one, so we're at like 98, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because 75 plus the one is 76, so yeah, we're at like 98. But look look up where that other honeycomb piece is, if you could, because I really don't remember. Unless it's in, Unless it's also in winter somewhere. Which it very well could be. Where are you at? Click clock wood. We're in the woods. We're in the woods, damn it. And the entire lake is frozen over. And there's icebergs from Freeze Easy Peak. Like one of the few actual recycle fully recycled enemies in this game. Mm. I can't remember too many more. Like, where was the area? I mean, you wanted me to look up? I wanted you to look up where the honeycomb pieces were. And it's in the winter. I don't know if they're both in winter or not. If they are, that surprises me that I actually thought that. But ah, because I know where one in winter is. I just don't know where the. Hi, buddy. Oh, got a gamer picture. Fair when gamer picks this? to spruce up the gamer profile. Nice. What do you mean? Does this level have a name? Click clock wood. Oh, Mumba's not even here. Mumba. Mumba's on vacation, you hairy fool. Come back in spring. Yeah, Mr. Beehive, you made the mistake of not having any bees guarding you. I don't know why you're in Mumbo's house. And why is there a thing of snow on the floor? Oops. I, I broke it. You look for honeycomb? And it's big, yes. Okay. 
Oh, and there's another Mumbo token, so... Shit, I think that brings the total of ones we found to 90... To, like, 99, wow. I think, yeah. There's one where I have to swim in freezing water. Uh-huh. Which I suggested I last. I know, th I know that one. Um... I'm very familiar with it. The second one is used to flight pad during the winter and fly over at Nabnut's house. Okay. Used to bake bombs and smash Break open the, the floating window. window. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was I was gonna do that. I just forgot that uh that a thing was in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that makes life easier. Yeah, musical notes are gonna be. Oh, and that's where the other jigsaw piece is. Ah, damn it. Slipping and sliding everywhere. Slip and slide. I almost popped me in the face with a snowball. God damn ice mechanics. And the beehive's broken. Oh. That thing, yeah, that thing is shattered. Oh, it's bad you get into falling. Wonder if there's anything in here? Wait. So if I get that other one, that would be 25. Wow, there are a hundred mumbo tokens in the game. <laughs> Never, never knew that. Ne never knew that. I just knew there was more than what you needed. Maybe I should go back and get that other one later, just so I have them all now. Yeah. I might just do that. But for now, just fighting our way up the- Ah, oh, the house is closed. <laughs> Take that. Ah! Damn it! Oh, I thought I could use that to get on the house, but no, just backflip on it. Backflip. If I don't fail. And then you gotta hurry and get into Talon Trot mode. Well, we're on less than 10 notes to go! And then we will have all 900. 1-900, 909, 9900. Yeah, I'm quoting an obscure wrestling telephone line number from the 90s. Yeah. Where you had to pay, like, what, I think like a buck 49 for the first minute, and then nine. Oh, crap! And, and then you fall, and then you fall, and you amazingly only take one damage from that fall. Good job. What, the fact that I fell, or the fact that I barely got hurt on it? Both. <laughs> Like, I got tits funny, but no, that was an obscure phone number hotline from the 90s. Yeah, I remember those. I think they're still going strong elsewhere. But it was like a buck 49 for the first minute, and then like 99 cents for each additional minute. Yeah. This was in 1994! When that kind of money actually meant something. Gas was 89 cents back then. That should, give, that should give you perspective. Like, calling this hotline costs more money than a gallon of gas. That's bad! You know, back when gas was actually freaking cheap. Although, I guess, in all fairness, it's what, like, two-something now? Which... Uh, I think so. Which isn't the most terrible it's ever been. I will go get that witch switch in a minute. Uh, there's another Mumbo token. Wow. And we're already at 20... Wow, there's over 100 in the game. Hmm. I have no idea how many are in the game, then. Trying to beat me up with snowball. Beat him up. Oh, that window, yeah. I'm gonna break into Nabbit's house. He's sleeping. Sleepy, sleepy. Zzz, mm, acorns. Zzz. And he has. And there's someone in his bed with him. I always thought that was a doll, but now I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's like it's something more. It's a special little friend. Best friends are we. It's funny, we can break open the window just fine, but not the door, no. Like, no, screw you. Oh my god, we're getting so close. Oh god. Damn, so I picked up a hundred mumbo tokens in the game. 
Well, if people need to know where they are, then, uh, well, you can just watch the videos and follow along. And I think the notes are up here, so I think we're, I think we're about to be done soon. View totals, uh, wow, yeah, we are. We are the world. Yep. Eerie, mighty eagle at last. Watch me as I fly into the sky. Aww. He grew, he hatched from an egg into a fucking eagle in the span of a year. I have reward. Yeah, I'm gonna shit this jigsaw piece out for Bear Friend. Here it comes. Yeah, see, now that's a bit, that's probably one of the bigger fetch quests in the game. You know, hatch him and then feed him for two seasons. And now we have, you know, all the jigsaw pieces from this world. So now I'm gonna go get my notes, which I believe are up here. God, making these jumps was bad enough in the warm weather. Now with shitty ice mechanics, it makes it. I got him in cold weather. Now we make it with shitty ice mechanic. Mm -hmm. Oh, you found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. And I got the achievement for all, all the, all the notes. And this room somehow still looks the same in every season. Like, how is this room not phased by time? Yeah, that kind of sucks. Even the Venus bear traps are phased by time. Look, it's dead. It's dead in the winter. Which I'm actually grateful for. I hate those fucking things. Because, you know, they, all they do is kill you. Yeah. All they do... Oh, God, we're going down. Careful. Oh, oh, saved it. Saved it. We're good. Uh, I was going to go to the flight pad up there, but... Oh, God. Snowmen are trying to bomb me with snowballs. Um. And we're going to backflip up here. Good thing, that, good thing flight pads are in generous supply around here. Boom! I don't even think I need to take these guys out. Eh, would not hurt. No, but I already got all the I already got all the puzzle pieces. The only thing I need to worry about is uh is this son of a bitch. Yep, yeah, There we go, got the witch switch. And I believe that's the last one in the game. Yep. We are almost done collecting shit. But now we have to somehow translate this to going after Gruntilda. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh, we could have we could have started that like before we entered here, but don't worry, we'll be there soon enough. I just got Oh yeah, I got two honeycomb pieces and I'm not looking forward to one of them. But yeah, yeah, it's fun. I can't wait to go um fucking freeze to death. But yeah. We're gonna have fun, kids. <laughs> I should just beat bomb the innocent dude walking there. Aww. Oh. <laughs> wow! Okay. I bombed him and managed to backflip into a landing. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, I suck at platforming games, obviously. Didn't you know I've been playing this game since, like, 98? Yeah. Or not 98, 96, because... If, I believe Nuts and Bolts came out, like, 08, and that was 10 years after the other one. Either way, unless we forget about that one, the better we're probably going to play that at some point. I'm not going to get 100% in it, but we're going to fucking play it at some point. Oh, I fucking hate that game. Ow! No, no, no! I don't like the flying mechanics here. They, I think they improved upon it a little in the second one. Hey, Mario. Ow! <laughs> yeah, this is going great. Just all this candid footage. Whoop! Went the wrong way again. But I'm gonna be careful this time. Because, you know, beat bombing into a wall over and over and shitty camera angles. Screw it, I'm not even going to use Kazooie, I'm going to use Banjo. Aww. Make him do some work. Ooh. 
Now I'm gonna do what I was gonna try and do with that or that chapel. There we go. Made a jump without taking any fall damage. Because of gold feathers, of course. Yay. <laughs> gold feathers are fun, especially if you have a code for unlimited amounts of them. I should put in that code. <laughs> then I could just run rough shot through things. Damn it! Thank you. Jesus. Just rammed it face first in the house. Ah, shit, man. I just kept bouncing off of it. I believe it's... Oh, hi. Sorry, what are you doing in here? Oh, God, there's more of them. Oh, what? Oh, there it is. I was like... Is there another window I forgot about? No, I just found it. Get up there. Get up there! One more honeycomb. Oh yeah, and realistically you only need 12 throughout the entire game. Mm. Well, because you can only get up to 8 bars of health. I guess you need more than that, technically counting Spyro Mountain, which I don't. Because, come on, if you're playing it the first time, you're gonna go through the tutorial. Yeah. I know I did. And then if you refuse to, uh... And then if you refuse his help and then keep bugging him, he's like, Yeah, I'm gonna do if you keep bothering me, I'm gonna delete your save data. Oh. Nah, he doesn't. He just he just fucks with you. Oh, he threatened. It's just a threat. Yeah, pretty much. Damn, didn't mean to slip, but Okay, what? <laughs> Gotta kill this guy. <laughs> Gotta Like, he shouldn't be here. You you have another level to go back to, man. <laughs> Okay, here it comes. Mm -hmm. You got this? Yes, that's right. Swim under there. Icy water takes double air. 